this is a new experience for me to be involved with the refereeing side of it rather than the playing side. Every time you come back to sevens, you, you know, you, you miss the environment that you'd been in, uh, the players you played with. Uh, luckily, you bump into a few of the players quite often, uh, either after tournaments or during tournaments with some of the coaching staff, which is nice. Um, but yeah, massively miss playing the sevens, but as with everything, age catch up with everyone. Uh, the refereeing needs to be as fit as the players, so for me, that's, that's my focus, is staying as fit as they are. And, you know, the refereeing part of it is the, the bit I enjoy at the moment. I was lucky enough to play with Glenn Jackson. Um, so Glenn going straight into refereeing after he uh, finished up in England uh, gave me an idea. And then I had two years at Wasp where I got to think about the idea before, uh, you know, finishing up in France. And as soon as I finished up in France, I came back to England to do the uh, a law test with uh, Chris White and Andrew Small, which was really useful. And then basically I started my refereeing out in France with the help of Mathieu Renal, who luckily got me involved with the local uh, uh, Society of the Pays Catalan. And then from there it was, you know, on, on you go and see how you go. The last three years of my career was where I took the interest in the law of the game and from there was explaining to other players bits and pieces of what they could and couldn't do. Um, explaining referee decisions and people, you know, as, as with ever, uh, questioning referees, but luckily I could tell them what I was thinking rather than uh, having to confront a referee. Um, so for me, that's where my, my, uh, my passion with the law came in the last, last few years before finishing up. One of the great things about sevens is the speed of it. Um, you can't really have a slow team. Uh, pace boys on the outside create tries from nothing. You've seen Dan Norton, you've seen Sinatra, you've seen Perry Baker do it. It's great to see and it's great to watch. It's one of the things that I enjoy is opening up. Um, you can see it with Dan Norton, you can see it with Perry Baker. That's the part of the game. They want to get up to top speed with a bit of space and be able to you know, really attack. For me, it's, I enjoy chasing them. Uh, would love to have a race with a few of them, um, see what happens. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it'd be close. Not as close as it might have been a couple of years before, but you know, it's one of the things I definitely enjoy is trying to open up and get, get with the boys as they're scoring their tries. The refs are as quick when he wants to be. Uh, he, he chooses his moments, which is always nice. Um, James Dolman and, uh, and Geordie Way, they're also very quick. There's plenty of boys on, on the circuit with the sevens, uh, with the refereeing who are quick, and that's one of the attributes that, that you do need. And, you know, definitely bought into that. My short-term aims for, for the Sevens is definitely to, to look at the World Cup and try and get selected for that. Um, slightly longer term would be looking at the Olympics. Um, the 15's aim is to continue progressing um, and, you know, looking at the end goal being uh, refereeing in the Premiership.